What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Everyday Struggle. Nadeska Academics and Wayno here with a special guest today. Young M.A. is in the building. Yo, yo. Good morning. Good. Yeah, How good. you feeling? I'm good, man. To this very day, I'm still... Is it Young M.A. or Young Ma? Which one do you prefer? It's M.A. M.A.? Because I've seen you say Ma before, I'm like... I don't know, like, because I used to see it on paper. I've never actually said it until, like, uh, yeah, last Young, young Ma, is, is, that was, like, my original name uh, at first, like, when I first was, like, coming up and all that. But uh, it's, like, Mad Ma's in the game, Remy Ma's, you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. I, had to, I had to abbreviate it, man, just say, call me Young and May, man. Because I wasn't changing my name. True, true, yeah. true, true. That's, That's a good fix, good. though, yeah, just adding the periods in there. I ain't like it at first. If I, I thought it sounded weird. Like, I was just so used to Young Ma, Young Ma. And I was like, young and made, that sounds weird. Like, it's too much to say. <laughs> yeah, I was so used to just young ma, young ma, and I'm like, young and made, but then it, it grew on me. It does have a nice mm -hmm. ring to it. Yeah. Do you ever think you'll grow, outgrow the young? Not a lot of people yeah. take the young off their name. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got to. Come on, man, I ain't young forever. Right. You know what I mean? You living now, though. Like, I mean, you've you, you done a lot at, at a young age. Yeah. Congrats on the album. So her story in the making is out. Yes, sir. Thank How you. do you feel now that the project is out? Because we know you didn't want to rush this one, right? When we yeah. dropped, that was so big for you. It seems like you fell back for a minute right. to try to prepare. Yeah, I mean, it's a relief, man. I just needed, I needed to let that go, man, because it was just like on me for a minute. And I just, I just had to, it's a relief, man. I'm happy, you know what I mean? Finally got off my hands and I'm just ready to keep going now. What took you so long with it? Like, I mean, like well, well put together project, but what what took you so long to get to that point of putting it out? I don't even know because I, 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 I <laughs> because I know you've probably seen us talk, either talk about you or just you know um, reviewed some of the music you're putting out and yeah. you know our our critique always been like all right we need some more stuff we need some more stuff right, you right. know and and like we live in a time now where it's kind of like out of, uh, out of sight out of mind yeah it's quick you know and mm -hmm. you always have one out there to make sure people would still fuck yeah, with yeah. you but. It was like you could. I, I felt you could do, do a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wasn't ready, man. I'm just keeping it G. Yeah. Can we start from the beginning? Uh, I think some artists coming up, you would call them industry plants, I guess, because you have a term for everything. They already have sort of the machine behind them right. when they're dropping early music. For yeah. you, it didn't seem like you had that behind you, right? Exactly. So you're young Ma, then you're young MA. You drop, ooh, that goes crazy. What happened next in your life? I feel like it can be a little bit overwhelming getting a big hit like that out the uh, game? Yeah, because like you go from grinding for so long, and then now when you finally get that moment, and it, and it's fast, like, you know what I mean? It was like a lot of pressure on me, because it's like, who is this person? A lot of people thought I was a boy. They didn't even know I was a girl. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? I'm dealing with that. Then, you know, the sexuality. Like, it was just a lot at once. And I'm like, oh, hold up, you yeah. know what I mean? But um, all good things, though, it wasn't nothing that I, I regret or anything like that. But um. Yeah, and that's just pretty much where it went from there. It was just like, just like everybody know who Young M.A. is now. How do you deal with it? Did you have a team, people who were experienced enough to help guide you oh, through yeah, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you I, have to build a team yeah, I, I, as um, was I had my, my um, marketing distribution team for before I even got lit. Like, before, yeah. like, since 2015, like, I was rocking with them. They seen me hustling. They seen me on the come up. And I just needed somebody to help me with marketing. You know what I mean? Like, I had my own thing going already. I just needed help marketing, and it was like a up, in, you know, regular marketing distribution team, nothing crazy. And we got together and we just built from there. You know what I mean? And that's what it was. It wasn't no, no, of course, no labels, none of that. Like I'm still to this day, I'm still just moving with my team. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. remember when you, when like right before Ooh, like really, really popped. I remember everybody was on you. Yeah. Like everybody it was. Was it, how, was it hard for you to like? Not hard, but. How was it trusting in yourself and your team to say, all right, I'm not gonna go jump out the window for a big advance and just like believe in what we doing? Yeah, that was that was me, all me. Nobody else was in my ear about nothing. I, I don't want who said, yo, listen, the labels was cool, you know, I done been in so many meetings, even still to this day, like it's still the same. Like, but I just didn't know if anybody was able to see what I was seeing, you know what I mean? Like visionary wise, like it was cool to throw a bag at me. It was cool to say, oh, we got radio and this, that, and the third. That's like the typical, typical. Like, I'm looking for longevity. Like, I'm looking for how long can you maintain this artist, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not because I got a hot record right now. Right. And I knew that's what it was about, man. Like, I understood that. I didn't care about the money because I was going to make that money. You know what I mean? Like, regardless, that's just in my hustle to do that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I just was saying the same thing. Nothing against the labels, man. I know that's what labels do. That's just the regular, you know, that's the norm. But I wasn't chasing no dollar. So, mm. so, so, all right, we get it. It's not the money, right? 
and every time I hear an artist who is independent, like really have that conversation of why am I so independent? Because I, I do think it's tough to be independent now. Like I know a lot of people preach and a lot of people are saying they're doing it. Some of them, they're not doing their line. Yeah, but like, that's true. These days, you have to deal with like now. Now the streaming game, like the labels, the labels are hand in hand. Yeah, they finessing with, it. Yeah, so so mm -hmm. now it's like for you to really even compete, and not saying you have to compete with people on a major, but it, everything is much harder if you're independent. You get yeah, me? I know. You telling me? I know. It, it, so is is you and you definitely you take pride in being independent. Is it because you want to own like your, um, the rights to your music, or yeah, kind of own the path that your career is going on? I what just is? want people to know like it's nothing wrong with being independent. I think a lot of artists that's 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 like on the come up or, or get a, a big buzz. They feel like they need to jump to a label because that's the thing to do. You know what I mean? And I feel like why not be independent? Like what's wrong with being independent? Why? Because it takes more time. Because you don't have much of a machine. It's more work. It's more hard work. So what? I'll tell, I'll tell you one of the reasons why I hear why. I hear a lot of artists like they come in the game, they get a hot song, they automatically look at the top and they said, "Okay, cool, I'm in." But for me to get from here to here, I got in on basically I had a hot song. I need the machine to push me to the top. I want to be a superstar. I want to mm -hmm. be one of the top five in the game in terms of selling and just in terms of status and superstar right. status. Um, and they don't think they could do that independent. You th do you think that's like an obstacle for you? Um, I never really see. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that to that superstardom and all that stuff. Like. You know what I mean? Like, I used to think like that. Like, I really, like, mentally changed all that once I understood how it is to be independent and how you benefit from it. You know what I mean? Like, is it even worth that? Because to me, like, I didn't really care. Like, the fame thing was cool. Like, being famous and everybody in your face and all that, it was cool. But I really, I really wasn't too fond of it. Like, it was a little stressful. You know what I mean? And I'm really like a personal person. Like I love, I love music. I love the art of music. I feel like it. It went from about being about music to like controversy and and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like I feel like music changed so much. Like I grew up in the early 2000s, late 90s era, where I heard that type of music, and it was literally about the music. And now it just seems like everything is for social media and stuff. And I don't like that. Like I don't like that type of extra attention that don't have nothing to do with my music. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I just don't respect that. That's not what I got into music for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Did you feel like you lost control, like, after after you dropped the right? Because I remember, I remember seeing them, it was like headline after headline, one headline, oh, yeah, yo, she's yeah. difficult to deal with with shows, then another one, oh, she said something in her lyrics that offend these people, and yeah. it spins out of control. And the whole time I was sitting watching, like, is she going to have to be on social media tweeting every day or putting out a video, like, apologizing or trying to correct stuff? But I could imagine that's changing the perception of how people are viewing you, but like you just you're not even doing anything. Most of it's the stuff right now. It's because I know I'll be yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'll be knowing what's up, and it's like the internet will take anything and twist it, and people will believe it because the internet said it. So sometimes they don't even you can't even say certain things. You know what I mean? Like even if you say this, people still try to find ways to to twist things up and say, oh nah, da, 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 this that and the third. I I don't like shit like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm a realistic person. I deal with things in real life. I don't all that internet and doing shit to be seen and this, I don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I handle things how I handle them. And that's it. I don't tell social media what I'm doing, what I'm about to do, this, and that. I just, I don't, I just, I respect my business, period. You know what I mean? Point blank, period. And I see things all the time. And like, I don't like that, bro. And that's just basically what that is. I wanted to know, like, when you was coming up, because it doesn't seem like you have the typical, you had the typical goals of, like, every up and coming artist. Seems like, like, because you're so personal, what were some of the goals that you had, like, coming in, aside from just right. being independent? Like, what are certain milestones you wanted to hit? Uh, I just wanted motherfuckers to hear me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I came into the game. I came into the game wanting to be heard. It's like, yo, you know what I mean? I'm grinding, I'm working, listen to me. You know what I mean? It's about the music. I really spit. You know what I mean? This is what I do. It wasn't all the other stuff that came with it that, you yeah. know what I mean, that I cared for. So, uh, now that I, you know, it's like, it's a difference when before you get into the game, and then when you get into the game, you start to see all the stuff you, you didn't think you would see. I mean, that you didn't see on the come up. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, uh, this is extra, bro. Like, this is like this ain't what I signed up for this shit for. Like, I just wanted to make music and do my thing. You know what I mean? And So was any of it what you expected it to be behind the scenes? 
what you mean sort of like that? dealing getting into the industry like you say i think we all like imagine what things are going to be like when we have those big goals and once you get into it, even fame yeah, like yeah it's said, like yeah and all of a sudden like you have no privacy you have to I'm about to say yeah i talk about expect. i talk about it in the album like you know what i mean i say pretty much what i'm going through like on sober thoughts and stuff like that like yeah. You know, you realize how how fake certain things be, and it's kind of like I'm not like that's I'm just a realistic person. Like certain things I can't rock with, I can't kiss ass with. Like I, I'm really like a genuine person. If I rock with you, I rock with you type vibes. Like, so don't get me wrong. Like I love this shit. You know what I mean? Like it's cool, but it's ups and downs too. And there's certain things if I don't want to rock with it, I just don't. I yeah. just don't rock with it. Like I ain't forcing myself to do anything I ain't supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Where does your work ethic come from? Because I I seen like well I listened on Cold World. It said you said if like you look on Craigslist and if they was hiring you to apply like yeah, so yeah. Did, did you have like jobs like coming up that gave you a certain type of work ethic that you applied into your music? Yo, as soon as I graduated high school, I went to work. I mean like soon as I graduated, and I had a I had a tough senior year because my brother passed when I first started my senior year, yeah. and I was always moving like I was always in a different school, so it was like tough for me. So like. Soon as I graduated, I went straight to work. I ain't want nobody like my mom's was there for me, of course, but I ain't. I wanted to make sure she was straight. Mm. You know what I mean? I was definitely after my brother passed. I was on some like I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking man of the house type shit. You know what I mean? And I went straight into work. I went to TJ Maxx. That was my first job, <laughs> retail. It was crazy, but I did it. You know what I mean? I got them little two hundred dollar checks every, <laughs> every. I think it was every two weeks. Yeah, it was nothing, bro. <laughs> like I bought Jordans. Right. It was like it was yo, know, it was a come up, man. And then I left that job. I went to Shake Shack. Started working in fast food. Yeah. I can't, yo, I can't see you at Shake Shack. Yo, I was at Shake Shack. I was flipping right. burgers, man. Right. I was flipping burgers, was bagging. One of those jobs like kind of humbling too, because every you, a lot of rappers. Hell like, yeah. Previous jobs, so it's like yeah, I was just sell, I was selling crap, making mad money, selling drugs. <laughs> I right. mean, so I was making money before rap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says they were making two hundred dollars a week. Right, right. Yo, yo. Um, I mean, I did start hustling after mm -hmm. I was working, but I was still, you know, that was fresh out of high school. I was straight into it, and then, you know, once that faded, you know, I went into other things. But, you know, that's just that, you know, and <laughs> I don't really like to go into detail. Hey, like, yeah, I don't think to. that's... Please don't. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still don't need to be said. Yeah, you know what I mean? But other yeah. than that, yeah, I was, I was always working. I always tried to find a way to make money, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I was trying to get in this game, too. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, no matter what, even working in Shake Shack, even working in TJ Maxx, like I was moving. Then once I got in that situation, mm -hmm. I was starting to sell mixtapes. Like mm -hmm. I was getting in that zone. Like I was really doing what was, you know, taught in the game. Like right, selling right. your mixtapes out your car. Like I was mm -hmm. doing that. You know what I mean? For five dollars. I even had it on um PayPal. I even had a PayPal account where I was selling my shit online. So you're really like out here in New York. It's interesting you say that. So we did, we have a segment on the show called Big Facts or BS. We'll take something, you know, an artist or someone says and the guys will debate it. And one we did recently was Russ saying that um, in the age of the internet, like streaming and all of that, yeah. it really doesn't matter where you're from. Like you don't need to win over your hometown. Yeah. Being a Brooklyn rapper, we're very like proud people. Would you agree with that? It doesn't matter getting home. Yo, when you from New York, exactly. it's different. <laughs> I'm exactly. about to say like that's cool and all. Exactly. That's cool and all. But when you when you from New York, man, you gotta get New York. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You that's, feel like you got New York first? Hell yeah, I got the whole tri-state first. That's where I was moving at Connecticut. Like all that to me counts as New York, mm -hmm. Connecticut, Jersey, mm -hmm. Philly. All that, and you go up Boston. All that, you mm -hmm. get that area, you good. Of course, New York, you lock in. Like that's my city, Brooklyn itself. Just Brooklyn alone is tough, you know what I mean, yeah. to, to grasp, you know what I mean? Like, insane. and then I'm coming from a city where it's the greats, man, you know, mm -hmm. B.I.G., Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, like, it's pressure with that. But, of course, you lock that in first. You can't get buzzed nowhere else if you're from New York first. Oh, that's a dog. See, I, I, I told him. It also matters, <laughs> matters on, like, like what you rapping about and, like, if, if your music is kind of representative of, of, like, where you're from. Because I, I, I mentioned, like, Going into like the future now, like Lil Tecca from Queens, but like I don't think he need the Queens behind him to pop. Like he just popped off online, but like her music is much different. Yeah. You feel me? Like her music is like everybody from around her way is gonna resonate. Is gonna resonate with them first before anybody else in the world. And so why wouldn't you get them on board? I wanted to give you props about that because early on, like first thing I seen from you was Cold World. You know what I mean? The joint that you dedicated to your brother. Oh, yeah, that, that was record. a minute ago. Yeah, that's the first joint yeah. I, I seen from you. That was the original, that was the first Cold World. Exactly. Yeah. I was going to ask you, too. I yeah, even yeah. did a Cold World part, too. But they yeah. kind of not, like, the same. Yeah, not the same. It's not the same. But it's just, like, 
you always seem like you wanted to be personal with your music. And, yeah. and I've seen you say in different interviews that, you know, it's a therapeutic thing. Like, that's the only thing you could talk to the mic. You talk to the mic and right, then right. Talk back, like, you know? Right. So it's just how, how, how is it, like, moving forward? What's the, like, the next type? I mean, we, we on your, your first official album. Right. Not my first day, yeah. First but like album, yeah. going forward, do you feel like you have to evolve your sounds, or do you just always need to stay in a realm where it's just like personal to you, and regardless the record, the beats, you'll just figure it out. I'm gonna tell you this: the only thing I kind of don't like about the album, because I love my album, of course, from mm -hmm. one to twenty-one. But only thing I didn't like was in the process. I was from studio to studio, yeah. sound to sound. You know what I mean? So. I never got into like one comfort zone and just was like straight album. You know what I mean? It was like sounds. I'm talking about from years, like from 2017. I'm getting beat this yeah. time. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the only thing I didn't like is that it wasn't where I, like organized enough for me to be focused on. You know what I mean? But I knew like I, I had to like put it together. You know what I mean? I had to do something. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I don't like. So going forward, you know what I mean? It's definitely gonna be more like in focus, mm. strictly for a project. You know what I mean? And um. And prior to that, it's crazy because prior to my album, when I was dropping mixtapes and stuff, it was a focus, you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. I done had mixtapes that I designed, like, literally designed to cover everything, you know what I mean? So that's the only thing. Like, going forward, it's going to be more focused and, and, and putting the, the body of work in one area, like one zone, one studio. Like, that's what I want, right. you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, one thing I noticed that you don't really go crazy with the features. A lot of artists, especially when they're dropping their first album, are going to get 50 songs. There's going to be three people on every track for streaming. It feels like you didn't try to go that route with this project. I couldn't, man. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Is it because of the label situation? Because, like, sometimes it, if you're not already in the system, like, they ain't trying to give you, they ain't trying to sign their artists off. Like, no, it wasn't that. I just felt like with my debut album, I just wanted it to be all me because it's called Her Story in the Making. So, I didn't want to, you know what I mean? I didn't feel like I wanted features. Now, Next John, you know what I mean? Of course, you know what I mean? That's how we move in the sophomore album. And and I'm doing features like now, like getting in, getting on songs and stuff like that. But like my first project, nah, man. Like my, my supporters know what's up. They know what this album is going to hit for. They know it's going to be all me, all about me. The two artists I, well, the artists I do have on there is somebody that, that's under me, you know what I mean? That's on the come up. He's from Jersey City. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Max YB. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So you have time to like sign other artists too with all yeah. this going on right now? Yeah. Okay, how's the label doing? How many artists are you trying to... I only got two right, right now? now. I only got two right now. That's on the come up. It's still fresh, though, you know what I mean? So now that I was able to drop this project and stuff like that, and then I got help, too. I got somebody that's holding them down and, and working with them, too. So we're just trying to give them good looks and stuff like that. Y'all going to see them soon. It yeah. seems like you got a real, like, great business sense right now. Yeah. Like, th th did you have to learn that, like, once you, when, when Ooh popped and, like, so much was coming in at once, like, you, you had to just gather it all I together? always had this mentality. Like, I was always, like, an entrepreneur-minded person. Like, I always knew I was going to go further and not just plant for what's in my face, you know what I mean? Like, I always wanted to dig deep into things. So mm -hmm. that was already my motivation. But, like, learning-wise, like, physically seeing it, Hell yeah, like after I got into the business and I paid attention, and I learned a lot from my team too, cause they experienced too, you know right. what I mean? So just paying attention to certain things and being in situations, and I always studied the game, like that was something I always did as a kid. I was yeah. into that shit from young, you know what I mean? Watching old DVDs, uh, mixtapes, everything, just paying attention, you know what I mean, to, to how, the, how, the, how the game move. Yeah. And it just built me in the long run, it was like practice. Did, did you learn, like, even like on a business level, because you know you came in, you came on the scene, you were promoting Henny like crazy. I know. Like, and, yeah, and that I, was I, one I of my mistakes. <laughs> that was one of my mistakes, man. I don't, know, I don't know if they gave you a bag for that or, or, or. That was my mistake. That was definitely my mistake. I, that's one thing I do regret is uh, being known for having Henny. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> but it was really what we was doing, so right. it was like hard for me to not say it because you know you on the yeah. come up. We out here, we really drinking Henny, but you know, at that time, everybody was on Patron and all that. Right. We was like, nah, we on the Henny. So it was really more so that, like, y'all doing that, we doing this. And that's just what it was. Business out of it? We tried to, man, but we we jumped, too, we jumped too far. It was like, why we need you? You already made us big, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, mm. Henny's so, are, they're really funny. Yeah, company. they is. Yeah. They don't really need, what crazy they don't, is, need. they don't need hip hop culture. Yeah. But we make they shit cool. Like, yeah, you know? we make it cool, so it's like, Y'all go ahead. We're right. going to collect. You know what I mean? That was one of my mistakes. So that's why I had to just totally erase that up out of here. Mm. Like, it was like, nah. 
no Henny and hoes, I'm young and made. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> like, it's a dub for that, you know what I mean? And that's what it was. Yo, yeah, I remember your, your, your name was Henny and hoes. My Instagram know. name was Henny and hoes, man. It sure was Henny and hoes. That was the, that's, that was the original. Like, yeah. That's where it started, man. That okay. was I, I, I thought at least by now, like, well, I mean, you're not promoting that shit no more, really, but, uh, like, it's dope to see, like, say, Gucci, man. I see you see Gucci finally embracing Finally, Gucci, yeah, like, but like, finally. Like, that type of shit is, like, you know, sometimes brands come around because, like, again, they don't need us, but, like, you make their shit cool and really, right. they shit can't stay on the shelf. I'm not saying it ain't it ain't possible. Like, right. it's just at that time, I was doing a little too much, so. You were going hard with that. Yeah, you know what I mean? I was. <laughs> I know it's a fact security. I mean, the thing, the, the thing is, is, like, we always believe, like, all right, if we go hard and show them love, right. they're going to show some love, that, too. But then, it's, mm, nope, not certain companies, man, they already got it. Like, that's like a lot of rappers now that's promoting, like, like name brands, like, right. you know. Dio and Gucci and stuff like that. Like, that's our mistake, bro. They ain't get no bag from them. You know yeah, what I mean? Pop Smoke better go holler at Dior, man. <laughs> Facts, man. They'd be like, who? Like, for real. Like, Yo, that's how they that's gonna how they be, be, bro. Like, like, and that's just, that's our mistake, bro, as as people, as our people. You know what I mean? Like, we yeah. gotta we gotta chill on that. So that's why I'm about to get into business with another brand. I ain't gonna say who. Okay. But like, uh, you know, somebody that's established, but they trying to come up and it's not no crazy, like, Christian Dior brand, no, but it's something that we need to be more f focused on, more smart on, as far as like our people that's trying to come and make something hot. You know what I mean? Like, let's make it hot. Why are we making anything else? That's like these billionaire companies, man, they they looking down at us like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are and we spending mindful? thousands of dollars on this shit. Are you more mindful of like what you say, like what you're kind of like, say if you're about to make a song about, it could be about fashion brand, it could be about liquor, anything, just be mindful of like, not going too far, especially like right. Not going too far because at the end of the day, we we you know wanna, we want to flex. We want to wear yeah. some expensive shit. We like to say, yo, I got this on, I got that on. Yeah. That's cool. But at the same time, like business wise, if you gonna jump into something like clothing or something, big that up more. Mm. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Like we all want to flex, man. Like I we can't help it sometimes. But at the same time. Like, flex on some other things that need to be bigged up more, like, for our people, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. for us clothing, like, just like I was just telling you about Lusso, mm -hmm. that whole thing, like, that's something we need to bigger more, and I respect Absolutely. you for wearing that on the show, too. Oh, I got Let's you. just represent. I, I, Shout out to Lusso. For real. Shout out to Jazz. Like, yeah. So, like, even what you t talking about that, because I remember seeing, like, like uh, I used to make, make a lot of rounds when I was managing artists and shit, and I seen, like, certain entourage members that was with you. Mm -hmm. I seen them start to evolve. Like, I seen this one kid, he used to always be around, but then mm -hmm. I seen him with a camera one day. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, and, that's, and that's another thing, too. Like, when you got your peoples around you, like, some, yo, it's, it's so hard to, like, kind of, like, change people from being this way to that way. But, like, it's like, what else could you do? Like, y'all my guys, y'all around me. Y'all not just around me to be thug all day. Like, mm, to be, right. you know what I mean? We not supposed to be running the streets no more. Like, right. let's work. Here's a job for you. Here's a job for you. And not all the time, like, people, they'll do it, but not all the way they'll stick with it. They right. won't stick with it, man. And, you know, it's unfortunate because, like, some, sometimes you got to just let people be them. Mm -hmm. And you got to, you know, play the distance, man. And it's unfortunate. But I'm happy you noticed that because... When I got certain people around me, I don't, I don't care for all that gorilla, gorillas. And like, when it's time to get it popping, all right, cool, we'll handle that. Right. But like, we got to be professionals. Like, we business, this business. So when you come into places, you better have a camera in your hand. You better be talking to this person, writing this down, holding this down. And that's what it is. Okay. So I'm happy you said so that. So now like yeah. 40 dudes on stage at the concert. Yeah, 40 dudes holding it. the bottle and right. all that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I had to get, you know, I had to, you know, erase a couple people out of my life because they just wasn't in a position to handle certain things. And like, we getting in the business now, man. We ain't from, we ain't in the streets. Like, who want to be in the streets all day? Thank you. Wow. It seems like you have a good Not balance of, yeah, of business. You, you got to yeah. go through that where like, your, because the, your homies, mm -hmm. you, we, you want to be real where you bring everybody with you. But right. then, Y'all got to fall in the position. You got to fall in position, and I, man. Y'all don't fall in the positions. Somebody got to go. That's go. tough for you, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, you know, you don't want them to look at you like, damn, she's switching. I, I don't care. Us. See, that's the difference between dudes care too much. Yeah. If I'm mentally where I'm at and you ain't there with me, you ain't for me. Right. And I don't care how you feel. That's just me. Like, I don't care about none of that. All that bro, 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 bro. Like, that, that don't make me no money. And that ain't making you no money. So mm. what you doing? You know what I'm saying? I don't care about none of that cold shit. All that niggas be like, oh, you got to have your day ones at all time. All right, well, what my day ones doing, too? How they, did they handling it, too? 
Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be fair with this shit. Everybody talk all that bro code, all this. You always got to take care of your peoples and all that shit. Nah, bro, we got to take care of each other. If you right. ain't, you ain't uh, helping me, I ain't helping you. Because when the bill comes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who's going to pay it? Right, exactly. Me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I already got to take care of my family. Like, my moms and, you know what I mean, my sister, my grandmother. You know what I mean? Like, that's priority first. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so just real shit. Moms. I see that. that that's, that's amazing how, like... I, I always see you talk about like how your mom is such a big supporter of you and how she never like put you in any position to make you feel pressure. Like she always right. just was supportive of you. Yeah. Right. My mom was definitely uh, rocking with me from since a little kid, man. Like she had me in studio. She knew what time it was. She used to see me in my room recording. She wouldn't even bother me. She would come in there and she would check. She didn't even ask me, but I doing my homework. She see me doing music, she let me rock. You know mm. what I mean? But she was that mother like, make sure your homework done, make sure the chores is done at the same time. She was very disciplined, but at the same time, she was lenient. So she let me do a lot of things I wanted to do. You know what I mean? I was a tomboy. I was playing football. I was doing, that. playing basketball. Like, I was, right. yeah, I was a, I was a kid kid. Like, right. I was outside kid. These right. kids now, I don't know what they doing. Man. Yo, listen, I seen some, I was driving one day and seeing some kids playing in the street. I almost shed a tear. Yo, I said, I, I just almost shed said a tear. this. I'm dead serious. Son, I just said this the other day. It was mad kids in the park. See, he said, he don't understand because this nigga's not from, from New York. He don't understand, like, us going oh, yeah, outside yeah. and actually that playing. That was the and, thing. The Johnny Pump, the sprinklers, yeah. all that. Like, kids ain't doing that. And I just, that's crazy you said that. Just the other day, I seen mad kids in the park. I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Different today, the, 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 the technology must be down today. Right. Word up, bro. I couldn't believe it. That's crazy. Right. Hey, what would you think about when, um, because I, I do, I feel like now for just, I'll just say women in music is okay. so diverse. Whether right. it's R&B, whether it's rap. Right. Not everybody rapping about the same thing, doing the same type of music. Mad diverse, right? right. And it, it's been a long time coming. But then you'll see like, like JD, he had... Couple, he had some comments. He was like, "Yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> for, from his perspective, he said, oh, at least he's strap, which he calls stripper rap. Mm -hmm. You know, like you don't you don't do stripper rap. You right. know, like you right, right. Do a whole different type of music. Right. How do you feel about it, the diversity in the game and like even his comments? Uh, I see. I see. It's a, it's a lot of different type of vibes out there. I don't just see what he said, like the the whole strap thing. I don't just see that. Like it's a lot of dope artists out here, female, male. It don't matter. It's a lot of dope artists out here. Some people just get overlooked." Mm. You know what I mean? They just get overlooked. But it's out here. It's not like it's not here. It's out here. It's just people overlooking it. So you can't just, I guess you can't just throw something out there and assume that because it's just not being brought to our attention as much as this type of music. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, when you're in the club, you don't want to hear no poetic deep <laughs> shit. Right. That's just facts, you yeah. know? But most, most, most music is radio and club. Like, that's just what it is. Like, and all and all the other type of rap is when you in your car, you in the house, and you just want to listen to some good music, good vibes. But it's out there though. But it's not gonna get that much attention as commercial music because, like, definitely now with technology and social media and all this crazy stuff, that's something you see all the time. It's like you need entertainment to see. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's gonna be out there more so than the more closed-in type music and stuff. Of course, it need to be exposed. We need to see, of course, but. It's just like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like in the club vibes. You, in the club, you want to hear some lit music. You know what I mean? You want to hear some turn up music, some things like that. So it's, I don't think it's not, it's not like for him to say, it's not there, it is there. It's just not, it's overlooked and that's it. It seems like you found a way how to do, do all of them because like your music, like I can hear you, I, I hear your music when you go to the club, but yeah. you also, could, you got shit that can live when you in a big car, when you wake up, like big, yeah, big, like that yeah. can be played in the strip club. Right. That can it seems be played. Like having so much fun on that record. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my shit right there. Shout out to Mike Zombie, man. The yeah, I was gonna. Hey, that's the homie. I wanted yeah. to know how y'all connected on that one. I met Mike Zombie like last year, 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2018. I met him in LA. Um, me and my team, we wound up linking with his team, and he wanted to set something up. And at the time, I didn't realize he was the one who produced that Drake joint. Yeah, started, started from, from the bottom. bottom. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, and the one with um, DJ Khaled, Jay-Z, yeah. like he got some hits on He got on some joints, yeah. You know what I mean? And I overlooked that and I'm like, oh shoot, like this dude dope. So but when we got in the studio, he was playing me some beats and I recorded like right away. Like we got a couple joints. Mm. Like they don't even, like a lot of people don't even know we got a couple joints. Mm. But the big record didn't come into play probably like the following, next year, like a couple, couple months down and I heard the beat, he sent it to me. And I was like, oh bro, I'm about to walk on this. This is that, this that vibe. And from there, I recorded it, I sent it to him, and he was like, oh yeah, they gonna love this one. And then follow up with the video, you know, shout out to Mike, Mark Diamond. Um, he, you know, uh, executive produced the uh, video. And 
and we just went from there. But I came up with the concept. I just want people to know that. Yeah. I came up with the concept, yeah, because I, every video I do, I'm like right there, hands on. Like I don't play every single video I've ever done. If you see it, it's because of me. Like if you notice, like I do a lot of long shots in yeah, my video. Yeah, I don't yeah. really like the cut, take, cut, take. Mm. I don't like that vibe. I like the, for it to stick. I want you to see me, feel me, understand me. Mm. And every video I do, I'm hands on with it. So the big video was definitely my idea. I was like, I need the big hand, need the big yeah. shoe. And what inspired me was the ludicrous video. This, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so. That's yeah. the one we was like, oh, she back with this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big came out. Okay, so what is, uh, what's your fan base like? It seems like you're an artist who cares about having actually like a core fan base. We talked yeah. a lot of times about how fans are super fickle. So all those artists who are doing things just for cloud or acting crazy on Instagram, the fan base is not necessarily there. Right, right. Once like the big hit cools off. Yeah, for you. that's true. And I, I'm, them, them my niggas, man. <laughs> them my family, man. It's my family, man. I rock with them. I appreciate, you got to appreciate the people that support you, first and foremost, on your come up. Because mm. I was already building a fan base. Like, I always was in tune to that. Like, I was always hands-on with, with whoever supported me. I was never that, that, that cocky rapper or that one that, you know what I mean, act like I was too good for shit. Like, I always made my fans feel like I was, like, connected to them like they can rock with me like it ain't like you can't you know what i mean talk to me or whatever the case i was always that person so i built that first i built that first and foremost so when i did get on it was like oh like we happy for her you know what i mean and yeah. then i brought in more fans more supporters and basically showed them the same love because i get it like you know people not everybody not going to see you so when you got a big hit that's when you get you grab everybody's attention but then it's like keeping their attention can you keep their attention yeah. And that's what, you know, that's what I had to do. That was another thing I had to do. So my fan base is like crazy, you know what I mean? Like it's always love. They support me through everything. They waited this long for the album. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was on you. Right? Yeah, yeah, they was on my ass, any, man. Any wild shit. Like, um, also, the definition of a fan is very confusing to me. At least yeah. me and Wayne know these days. Ack is with it. People doing crazy shit, like throwing shit at you, uh, grabbing your sneakers off of you. Like, do your fans do wild shit like that for attention? Is it okay? Uh, Like when I'm performing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's hard for me to like go close to the stage without a girl trying to like pull my pants down or <laughs> t like for real. Like it's like crazy. Like girls be really going crazy, and yeah, that's what it's like. Or when I'm about to leave out, you know, same same shit. You know what I mean? It'd be crazy. Heartthrob. Hey, hey, who's your dudes? Be groupies too, like OD. Really? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Hell yeah, the dudes is like worse than the girls. Like I can walk down the street. <laughs> well, like, I just be walking down the street or, like, going to the car, whatever I'm doing, and having to run into maybe a dude and his girl. The girl be more calm. He'll tell his shorty, like, oh, shit, look, it's young and May. And I peep it, you know what I mean? I, I peep everything, bro. And he'll be like, yo, babe, can you take this picture for me? Uh. I mean, it's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I respect it, but it's like, damn, homie, can your girl get a picture first? Like, he be like, babe, take this picture. She be looking like... Like and I'm like, this dude really just made his girl take. That's just to me. That's just like, oh, that's just a little groupyish, bro. You know what I mean? I, I respect the love and the support, of course. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, that's your girl. Bro. Yo, it's yeah. next. It's another love. Did you hear them talking about how was it Wayno saying uh, that they can the way you rap about girls? They no, feel I like said, they I can. Said he, they can. Uh, so no, I, I, wait a second. I, it's like me like said. <laughs> what I said was when I listened to the album, and even though you're a, a woman and you, but you talking from a male's perspective, the kind of yeah. I was relating the mad shit you were saying about women. I was like, oh shit, like, I mean, that's just because it, it's just something I go through. Like, I, I, I go date women. You right, know what exactly. I mean? so, so, that's what I'm experiencing. So, but um, yeah, it ain't even me trying to have a male's point of view. It's right, literally right. my point of view. Right. But I, I understand it. what you're saying you can relate because you date women. You know exactly. What I mean? So, exactly. Yeah. And, and when, I, when I look at it, and, and we've had these conversations about, you know, by the way, I think, other than maybe like Rhapsody, I think you're probably. The, at currently, you know, salute to Nikki and you know yeah. some people who are nice with bars and everything. But I feel like you're probably one of the top three, mm -hmm. if not top two, um, best female rappers. And, and you've been in at least three quarters of these mm -hmm. years anyway. Where do you rank yourself <laughs> compared to your peers? You get um, me? And I always feel like and, I'm number one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, but I'm, how do you view like other like women in the game in terms <clears> of like their skills versus yours or like? You see them doing their thing. Um, I mean, I, I I rock with a lot of a lot of female artists. You know what I mean? Who I rock, who I rock with. But I honestly don't feel like I'm in no other lane but mine. You know what I mean? Because like, I just represent things so differently. You know what I mean? Like, 
Just like he said, like, when I heard M.A. album, I felt like it was coming from, you know, a male's point of view, my point of view. Like, when you hear women, other women's songs, you're not going to get that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, flip that. Then I know about women as well. You know what I mean? Like, I understand how a woman can feel, too. You understand what I'm saying? So things that I'm, like, experienced, like, I, I can't really compare, like, myself to anybody. Like, I always just feel like I'm number one, period. Like, yeah. no matter what it is. That's content, though, right? So, like, your content's a little bit different, but, like, just straight rapping skill. Like, I'm not, I don't think I don't think nobody fucking with you. Like, I don't think nobody <laughs> fucking with me neither. Okay. Who I'ma say? Right. No, 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 I don't, no, I don't think you do. <laughs> yeah. no, but, 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 but I mean, like, who else do you look at? Um, like, yeah, you're you like, mean, yo, just in general, or female wise, female I mean, artists. Both, both. Let's just say both. Yeah. yeah, those freestyles look too easy. We got to just open it up to everybody. Uh, who are your peers? Who's your actual competition? Yeah. We're not or, talking about... <laughs> or, or what do you hear, in, the last shit you heard, and be like, yo, damn, that shit just inspired me. Like, I'm... Because I do think it, your, your pen game is nasty. And it's never in question. <sighs> <laughs> it's never in question. <laughs> Who inspires... Yo, I ain't gonna lie. lie. Like, music now, it's, it's hard for shit to inspire you now. I'm, um... Uh... <laughs> just trying to be diplomatic. Yo, nah, bro, like, I really don't be, like, I really, like, fuck with a lot of music, like, just what I get from, but I don't really get nothing that will, I guess, motivate me from certain music. Like, it's good to listen to, it's dope to listen to, it's good vibes. I'm, I can't even say, bro, like. <laughs> your, your, your music is mostly, well, how I hear it, it's mostly motivated off of, like, shit that's going, going on, on in real time. My, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, just off my experiences and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. um, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I love all the female artists that's out right now, everybody that's going and doing anything, because the lane is more so, is opening up more for more women to be acknowledged. But the only thing I don't like, it seems like it's like one at a time type vibe. Like, mm -hmm. why can't it all be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A, a, a group of women that's just rocking. Like, that's why I, I salute, I salute Nikki and, and, and Megan and Stallion for doing that collab because that was like a good thing to, you know, big up and not make it seem like, I don't know, for some reason they make it seem like female rappers just gotta hate mm -hmm. on each other. Even if it ain't no beef, even if it ain't no situations, like they always gotta compare, compare. Like, I see shit with me in it all the time, like, and they compared to who's the best, da da da. And I just be like, why is it always that? Why y'all don't do that with these dude rappers? Mm. Why y'all ain't putting them in no in no square and saying who's the best out of, you know, these male rappers and stuff like that? Like, why every time a woman come out, it's got to be compared to this person, compared to that person? And that's what causes a situation because the people putting it out there for comparison. And it's like, bro, they just dope, man. They all have their individual styles, talk about individual things that, and that's just what it is, like. Respect that. So you don't got no top five. I was really talking to the top five. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I really started. My top five. In there. I mean, I'm always gonna be a Jay Z fan. You know what I mean? I'm always like for me Eminem and Lil Wayne. Uh, I, I I rock with Drake too. You know what I mean? I rock with Drake because Drake is like like diverse. Like he has so much type of music, sound of music, and he still has that 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 thorough type vibe too. So I, I just fuck with Drake as an artist. But like far as like MCs, like Wayne, Jay Z, um, Eminem, these like these is like in my top, bro. Like that I'm rocking with. Mm. Like far as like, cause it's not music like that no more. Oh, I rock with Cole too. I rock with J Cole too. I rock with J Cole. J Cole is like, I like how he rap. He Can you tell him come out of future retirement so you guys could do one right. together? Yeah, <laughs> what up, Cole? What's up, man? Let's get one in, baby. Right. <laughs> we'll fuck the world up with that one. Yeah. That'd be insane. Cold world. Yeah. yeah Cold world. Know. Right. <laughs> too, Hello. Too easy, too you easy. got bars too, huh? <laughs> Yo, so now that the album is out, like you said, it's a relief, right? You've been through a lot over the past few years. What's next? Fun, man. <laughs> More fun. Yeah, fun. You, you know deserve what I mean? it. It's yeah, it's like it's like now it's like I just want y'all to see the other side of MA. Like I'm not always serious, bro. Like I'll be I'm goofy as fuck. Like I have fun, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I'm I'm really like a comedian. Like I make people laugh for real. Mm. Uh, definitely movies and and shows and stuff. Like I've already been working on stuff. Like I stay silent. Like I work and be quiet, and then I just boom hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you, hit you. So that's what you gonna see. You gonna see a lot of, and may and a lot of shit that you probably thought I was quiet, but the mm. whole time I'm working. So that's just how I move. But now it's just like I'm I'm throwing everything out at you, features, 
I just got the chamber about ready, to get man. Busy. I got the it's chamber time. ready, man. I know they're gonna look at me weird, but 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 was you directing another porno? Oh yeah, that's duh. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that bag is stuff. No, I know. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm everywhere about with it, it man. Yeah. I'm everywhere with it, man. I ain't ashamed of that. That's dope. Like people understand. Like how did that, how did that, how'd you even like how they hit you up? Like cause they know I'm, I'm, I get the bitches, man. They know I get them. <laughs> they know I'm nice with that. They was like, oh, this is a perfect person to direct this. That's you probably learn a couple of things from her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, but I, I thought that was dope. Like, so wait, it, was it like a more promotional thing or like you got like a bag back from that shit? Yeah, I got paid for that. Oh shit! It wasn't no promotional thing. I thought nah, cause I did some. I did Imagine some shit taking with your time thing. to do that for promotional reasons. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, that was with Pornhub, right? Yeah. I fuck with porn now. Mm. Yeah. Fuck with porn now. Like he trying to see what your check was in comparison to his. Yeah. That's the only reason why he asked his pocket watching ass nigga. Right? <laughs> they license the song of mine on there. They, yeah. they good people's man. I love them, man. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more. It's Yo, I got. I ain't. Yeah, just, no, <laughs> just, just know y'all be calling me up here again for something else. Crazy. Where, yo, come back for the Everyday Struggle Awards. Okay. We're filming in December. It'd be great. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Heard we you. We could have some fun together. That's dope. Do well, y'all getting up there with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wait, well, wait, yo, all them freestyles he was dropping, like, in between, like, how long it takes you to, like, because you, it felt like it was almost on, like, I a monthly schedule. I could never say, hold on, one more. <laughs> now, for real, <laughs> it was almost like a monthly schedule. I, I used to be, like, watching shit, I'm like, yo, she's going off. How, like, how, how often do you get in that bag where, like, how long does it take to even, for, for you to, come up with something like that because I do think that that's what kept your fan base like oh shit I right, should keep feeding us yeah yeah and when you look at the views it's like 25 million views yeah, yeah. It's freestyle it's yeah, just yeah. crazy uh, that's like when I do freestyles that's more so like I'm like literally motivated as fuck at that moment like when I hear a beat and I'm in that zone I'm right and I'm going you know what I mean because I get writer's block a lot bro like believe it or not I get that shit a lot it be times where I don't even want I don't even want to deal with music you know what I mean because I'm just like cloudy, scattered. Mm. So when I do get that opening and I hear a beat, it's usually when I hear the beat, you know what I mean? That's what motivate me the most, like the beat. And when I start it off, it's like I go from there. Long as I get the right start off, I'm good. Mm. And that's just that's just how I do it. There ain't really no blueprint to it. Mm. It's just motivation, mine. Then you have an act for you trying to write your freestyle. Yeah, trying to no, get no, my own no, technique on the get your, your, your Nah, because every shit. time we talked about those, I kept telling you, I don't think like I feel like every time we're mentioning rappers who are still doing it, I feel like her name is left out. At least when we talk about it. Okay, so like I always felt like you're you're like left out of the conversation sometimes. Yeah, I know that, and I, I I never understand that neither because it's like when when I do put out a freestyle, everybody go crazy for it, it go viral, it go stupid. But it could be more so because I lay low after a while. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So I, everything is like in face now. You know what I mean? It's like. It here and it's going quick, you know what I mean? So much, everything is so oversaturated now. So I get it, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you gotta make your way through there. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, you know, they know what's up. Yo, are you gonna be more active on social media in the next year or not? If you're not gonna do it, I'm gonna stay just the way I am. <laughs> not doing it either. Um, Social media is tricky, man. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's like, it's a little depressing sometimes, man. It's like up and down. Like you, you had them good days on social media, and then you had them down days on social media. It's like social media. You gotta, you gotta take a break from it sometimes, cause it could start to fuck with your head, and right. and you lose like sometimes you lose yourself in social media because you see so much. Right. I mean, so sometimes you gotta snap back and lie. This is reality. Hello, mm -hmm. like this is reality. Like right here off this phone. So uh, that's how I look at social media. Like. It ain't nothing like I care for too much, but at the same time, I know I have to be on it. Right, it's like part of the job. It's part of the job now, you know what I mean? I find it enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, I got to ask too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> he comes you see his shirt, what his shirt say? Chat sorry. nigga. Chat Come nigga. On, right. <laughs> nah, but, yeah. And so, your album dropped, first week's over, mm -hmm. sales came out, I think it was like 22, 23. Mm -hmm. Do you care about sales? By the way, that, that's great sales for being independent. Yeah, independent, you get absolutely. Me? Like, you have to put in context. Like, how do you feel about like even the sales conversation, and how you feel about yourself? Uh, I, we already kind of knew where we where it was going. You know what I mean? Because that wave kind of went down. You know what I mean? Understanding the business, understanding the industry. Uh, but a lot of people don't know. You know, when you're independent, those numbers is actually good. It's great. You know what I mean? Because if you want to break it down, <laughs> chop it up. Mm -hmm. You know, income is very well, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's just the first week. So, and I got so much content coming out to build 
those sales up, you know what I mean? And Petty Wap is almost gold, by the way. Uh, we getting there, you know what I mean? Uh, I got over a billion streams, you know what I mean? Just just me alone, you know, for all, all social media, all, I mean, all media platforms, just being independent. And a lot of people gotta understand, like, when you're independent, you get these type of numbers, bro, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. That's excellent, like, you competing with motherfuckers this big and like to them you this little you know what i mean so but when your numbers is up there it's like yo a lot of artists that be signed ain't even getting these numbers bro right. i'm talking about with a whole major label behind them ain't getting these numbers bro and i even chill for a minute chill you know what i mean and that's like doing like 100k on a major at least like do, yeah doing 22 independent that's you like said, doing 100k yeah it's like doing 100k and that's facts yeah. and a lot of people don't understand that because it's not talked about you know what I mean? It's not talked about. People look at it like, oh, it's just numbers. It's just numbers. Not nah, numbers. It's numbers, yeah. But you got to compare the background to it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, you know, a hundred k, whatever. A major artist sell of over a hundred k compared to an independent artist that's selling like 22, 23. It's in the same element. But what make it even better is, you know what I mean? That profit off it. You know what I mean? And we ain't stopping like that. That's just what that was for that. Right. We building that motherfucker up, and we gonna keep collecting, keep collecting. So. Oh man, listen. I, that's what I'm saying. Like that don't affect me because I know what we gonna do, what we doing, and how we getting it, and what's the situation. Like that's not for everybody to know. Like nobody, everybody don't need to know my pockets. Right. They don't need. To, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, right, right. He's never gonna stop asking. Yeah. Me, yeah. You know no, 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 no. I do think it's part of the conversation where people like look at sales to like validate their own thoughts. Like they yeah. might like the album like. Yo, why didn't do as good as so and so album? But nah, I think kind of no. educating them, like, yo, listen, I'm independent, like, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta understand, have, yeah, you yeah. gotta understand, and uh, it looked cool. But I just, I'm just happy to get great feedback from the album. I don't need nobody calling my album trash. Like, that's what it touched me more. It's like, but I, you know, that's that's the thing that mattered to me more because I know my supporters, they gonna buy it, man. It's gonna go, you know what I mean? We gonna work for it to go, and and if you wanna compare the two, that's just how you gotta compare. It's like independent. Major label, that's your choice, what you want. All right. We're gonna have to wait uh, another three years for maybe another project. I know you're gonna work this. Nah, you're gonna man. work it work it a lot, but Nah, uh yeah, we gotta you know, of course we gotta work the album for for the next few months now. But uh definitely another project. Like I'm I'm listen, man. Back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I ain't trying to say too much. Hey, I ain't trying to say too much, man, because too at much. the end of the day, like music is my that's my world, man. Like I love music. I'ma always know how to finesse shit. Mm. Like you can't it ain't no beat or anything out there I can't finesse. You know what I mean, I ain't no. It ain't like I have just one sound. Like you can give me any beat, and I'ma finesse it the way I want to finesse it. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. I love music. I'ma try to wrap up the show right now, but let's just check with academics. Bro, you no, good? I'm good. I'm good. Like, <laughs> He's no, gonna have whatever. More sales well, come on, what you got? I got one more. You sure? I'm, I'm just. It's cool. I'm it's cool. With it. I'm scatterbrained. I'm scatterbrained. I'm scatterbrained. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, cause I'm Scattered academics. Room. You ain't really get to meet me yet, so it's like yeah. Now we met once. At, we met at complex. complex. And we did a panel like and that real was it. Quick. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We ain't really ever get. And I've been covering her since like I know he been. Yeah. I posted good and a bad. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like one of those Facts. things where right. it's like, like I've seen stuff and I'm like, is this true? Because like you see, a lot of people like they they cloud chase online or yeah. whatever. Like you never ever thought about like not cloud chasing, but like just. Using social media a little bit more to like, like trolling even, and shit like that. Could be trolling. Mm -hmm. that, that's one way of doing it. But, but like, um, getting yourself out there a little bit more because right. I do think this is the, this pressure is the most I've ever heard you speak and really um, like engage with people. Yeah. Also, yeah, you're funny and pretty cool. Like, you yeah. never know, especially meeting an artist for the first time so early in the morning and doing an interview. You never know. Sometimes yeah, artists don't want to yeah, talk yeah. at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah, easy nah, to talk nah. to. I was, I was actually happy to come on the show. I see y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all out there moving. I see the, the blue background and stuff like that. <laughs> I be seeing y'all, so it was like dope. I'm like, okay, everyday show. Yeah, Yo, you got to give us a 16, yo. Right. <laughs> yeah, you have been the first artist to touch this booth. Right I give you a 16. Oh, uh, you just got to get the album. You had a few of them shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all you get. Yo, thank you so much for coming through. Congrats on the album. Her thank story thank in you. the making is out right now. Thank you for watching Everyday Struggle. No final thoughts, right? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I, I, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Um, all right, guys, see you here tomorrow on Everyday Struggle. That's why I told you I need my pen. I got to write my little, oh, my little list of questions. <laughs>